Austin has uh, some uniqueness about him that you can see early on. He has real love. I mean, it's been being on a bike. Most of my grandkids do pigs and cattle, but Austin, he does motorcycles. Well, pretty much living kind of in the middle of nowhere. The town my address is in is Richards, Missouri. It's a very, very little town. They still have a post office, and that's about it. He was gifted, in my opinion, with a lot of God-given talent and a sharp mind. Wow, he's going fast. Did you put it on your neck? Whoa, swish! Today, Mom's going to videotape me and I ride so I can look at myself and see like, where I made mistakes and where I didn't, and hopefully it'll pay off. We rode on the weekends. And he didn't ride at all during the week. He was just a kid, he went to school. If it worked out and he could make a living at it or if he was any good, hey, that, that's okay. But if he didn't, it was me and his mother and him. We were just going to the races as a family. We just let him be a kid. My mom teaches at uh, Bernal School and she taught there for quite a while now. I was always a pretty good kid. I always got really good grades when I was in school. It really helped um, having her teach there because sometimes whenever I needed to do a race, they would allow me to miss more days than they really should because she taught there and we would kind of work out a deal. He was a smart kid and his mother was a teacher, so that had to be what happened, you know. I didn't want to send him to a training camp because I wanted him to be home and I want him to be a normal kid. I think that that's, that's why I still like to ride, because I didn't get burnt out on it. When it's time to be a kid, he knows it's time to be a kid. When it's time to be a professional racer, I think he can flip that switch. I know when I was 17, I, I mean, I worked on the farm and stuff, but that was different. That's all I knew. My grandparents on my dad's side live down the road from me, like, I think, two miles, so I go down there a lot. Well, you know, uh, Austin, he took to doing some of the things around the farm like all the grandkids do. We've got pigs and cattle, and we've taken a real responsibility to our grandkids. Uh, we try to work with them, uh, teach them some responsibility. His grandma paid him money for cleaning hog pens. It was, I mean, it was work, but I got, I got, I, if I did them all, I would get paid like 20 bucks and I'd do that every week for anything that I wanted to save up for and buy, bicycles, RC cars, whatever, whatever I was into at the time. He learned that money isn't just handy. If you work hard, good things will happen. It's kind of a family deal and everybody supports it and they help out when they can. They watch all my races and, and I mean, I try to spend as much time with them as I can, so they uh, are definitely a big part. Who's around on some days, I don't have anything to do. But most of the time I gotta do road bike rides and stuff like that, but I actually like it out there. Uh, since I'm kind of out in the country, not a lot of people drive on those roads, so if it's got two wheels and handlebars, I, I think I just kind of have a natural talent for it. BMX, mountain bike, obviously dirt bikes. And, I mean, I, I have fun at doing all of it. I dreamt about it, and he dreamt about it, as far as, yeah, that's what we want to do. But to be with all these number one plates, it's almost unbelievable, you know. It's, it's something that you dreamed about, but yeah, probably wasn't going to happen, but it's cool to dream about it. Uh, I went to Costa Rica for a Fox photo shoot, and uh, Ricky Carmichael was going. Kind of met him and, and got along really well, and his manager, uh, J.H. Thiel, we got along really well, and they ended up uh, decided that they wanted to help me out as I uh, transitioned from amateur to pro. Yeah, I mean, I think that everybody's kind of like waiting to see what I'm going to do. I mean, I want to make want to make my sponsors proud and uh, just really I want to show myself what I can do and, and see what I can do. That's, that's kind of the big thing about going racing. Just want to go racing and see kind of where I fit in. And, um, go pro, basically. Looks like he's ready to give whatever it takes. So 
To me, the most exciting thing I see about Austin right now is, you know, he's committed, he's dedicated, and uh, if he thinks he can do it, he probably can.